medical coverage tonight, a record year for flu deaths across the nation has medical experts warning people to get their flu shots earlier this year. Our Colin Lingo is taking a look at last year's numbers and telling you what the health department says can be done to avoid more flu deaths this year. Yeah, we are learning today that this was not just a bad flu season for the nation as a whole. It was particularly bad for the Ozarks as well. So today we're asking, how do we prevent it from happening again? again. This year, we're starting to get cases already. Flu season has come early to the Ozarks. Is this going to be another big year or not? At least that's what we're told by infectious disease expert and Greene County Health Department Administrator Kendra Findlay. It's more than just an annoyance in the fall. It can be serious. While it's still a little early to determine how severe this flu season will be. It was, it was a historic flu season. Last season still has medical experts a little cautious. Um, last year we had just over 4,600 cases reported. And when you look back in the history of Greene County flu numbers going back to 2003, the only season Season that even came close to comparing to that was 2013, and we had just over 2,500 cases reported. You see, the Center for Disease Control reports roughly 80,000 flu related deaths nationwide, and the Greene County Health Department says it saw 17 of those deaths in its area. Now, Finley and the Health Department are reminding everyone to do their part and commit to getting the annual flu vaccination. The flu vaccine isn't perfect, um, but it is what we have to protect ourselves. Because while you might still contract the virus, you'll likely have a milder case and you'll also have a lower likelihood of spreading it to others. Make that decision based on you, your family, but also the community. Colin Lingo, Ozarks First. The Greene County Health Department also claims 4,600 or so cases is actually just the tip of the iceberg. Each year, many flu cases go without a formal diagnosis, meaning there could be many more cases the department doesn't even know about.